Something that saved me all the time In my state, yeah It circles when I'm breaking down Like a whisper in my head Coming from out of nowhere Like a whisper in my head When I've got something to share to myself, but it's like I was too weak to be someone else, you could think that I'm a creep when I'm singing all alone, but it's like I couldn't see straight on my own, hey, yeah, there's something that saved me all the time, in my own
How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Welcome to another stream where we get your questions answered. Hopefully, you saved up some questions. Hopefully. How's the sound, guys? Can you hear me okay? All right, let me hop over to some of these questions that we got already. So this is going to be from J Money. Trying to find a Honda Civic 2013 or 14, 70,000 miles for $7,000. Do you think it would, it would last me five years? Oh, dude, absolutely. Absolutely. Just make sure you check the transmission. Make sure you check the engine. You do a pre-purchase inspection. And that car is definitely going to last you. I wouldn't worry about that, to be honest with you. Uh, next question. Tango USA. What up, dude? What up, money? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Gary, good to see you. Good to see you here as usual. Uh, Dwayne Lopez. Hi, Dan. What do you think about Toyota Sienna XLE 2019 for $27,000 with... Uh, 19,000 miles in off lease only. Here's the thing I'm gonna be making a, a video about off lease only pretty soon. Um, I would tell you to stay away from off lease only because they don't offer the best possible price, they don't allow you to negotiate. They have a lot of vehicles uh, that have damage, and uh, on top of that, they have like dealership fees. So don't negotiate a lot of damaged vehicles. And uh, and fees. I, I like listen. They are not a special dealership. I would I would move move right past them. Hey, Corgi, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Uh, Tango, you would say. Hey, Dan, what do you think about Toyota Highlander Platinum? Ten dealerships give me ten different pricer prices. The lowest I got is forty nine. Oh, pretty much 50, $50,000 out the door. Tango, you'll say, bro, I can't, like, there's, <sighs> how many percent off MSRP? That's the only thing I care. How many percent off MSRP did you get them? Is MSRP 50? Don't, and don't tell me your taxes. Because taxes is not part of the car. We're just talking about, you know, dealership fees plus the car. The government is going to steal the, Steal money guaranteed. Okay, so let's let's focus on price of the car plus the dealership fees. So just tell me, you know, how how many percent off? 20, 15, hopefully somewhere around 17 or 18. Gary E, today, then um then today I was reading the report for 2019 Ford Motor Company for fourth quarter. They lost 1.7 billion dollars gross. My heart bleeds for them. Uh my heart doesn't, Gary. If, if an old lady gets hit by a car when crossing a street, yeah, I feel bad. When a billion dollar company is losing money, I don't feel bad. Because there are men that should be taking responsibility for this, but they're not. There, there are CEOs that should be getting fired left and right. There are marketing executives that should be getting left fired left and right, but they're not. Listen, the people are killing the company. It's not the exterior forces, it's not forces from outside. The people within are fucking shit up. Nobody, nobody's attacking them. It's within. You got idiots within. And I'm being nice here, I really am because I like Ford trucks, I'm being really nice. Uh, Corgi, uh, funny thing, I emailed two Kia dealerships two weeks ago and as soon as I asked for a buyer's order, they stopped communication. I asked for buyer's order after website price. Um, yeah, yeah, dude, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. You, the buyer's order gives you power. It gives you fucking power, bro. You gotta have the power. If you have no papers to show to anything you know uh, if you cannot confirm a price on paper you're fucked like literally i'm gonna be making a, uh, another dealership review about a californian dealership they're advertising uh a dodge uh, challenger for thirty thousand dollars msrp is 40 like 42 you know 
I call them, I have texts. Like literally, I collect this shit. For me to, re to do, do a dealership review, I don't just pull shit out of my ass. I contact the dealership. I pretend that I'm, I'm actually buying a car. Maybe I'm asking for a friend or I'm actually asking for one of you guys. Somebody is asking, hey, then can you help me with the car? You know, I go in, put myself on the front line as a normal customer, you know, and I get lied to. They treat me like I'm stupid. They treat me because they don't know who I am, you know. Uh, there, there's one deal, literally, there's one dealership in California. They are telling me that the ads on AutoTrader are made by AutoTrader. <laughs> they are telling me it's not their dealership posting that. How stupid do you think I am? Do you think some, there, there's like AutoTrader goes out to a bunch of fucking dealerships and you know what, let me just do your work for you. Let me take your cars and post them so you can sell them. Like how stupid do you think I am? Jesus Christ. Uh, Dwayne Lopez, Dwayne, come on, man. You're, tell, me, tell me you're the rock. Tell me you're the rock. <laughs> so which dealer in Orlando do you recommend? I don't. Why would I recommend specific dealerships? They're not sucking my dick. They're not special. They're not, you know, the, there is not a single dealership in the entire fucking country that I would say, oh, they're amazing. They're the best. Not one. Not one. And I've been doing this for a while now. Let's just go with a while. I've been doing this for a minute. I've been trying to find a dealership, you know, okay, you know, maybe I can find a Hyundai dealership. Maybe I can find a Ford dealership or a, or a Chrysler uh, Dodge uh, Ram dealership. No, I get one car from them, one good deal because I, I squeeze every single penny out of them. Well, what, what, what happens next? They don't want to do that anymore. They don't. So I have to search all over again, even if I'm looking for the same manufacturer. Literally, I, there's two people that are looking for two brand new Hondas and I was trying to make it a little easier for them. Hey, you know what? Uh, there's two people that are looking for two Hondas. You know, they'll just take care of both of these customers. Take care of both of them. Nope. Couldn't do that. Uh, Corgi, I heard news that Nissan is pretty much screwed here in States too. Not um, mentioned the CEO just escaped embezzlement charges in Japan by paying uh, Mercs to sneak him out of the country. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Nissan. I literally don't know. It's, it's like a black hole, you know? Things are happening there that nobody can explain. You know, it's like a fourth fucking dimension. It, I'm not sure if Nissan even exists anymore. Maybe, maybe it's a figment, figment of our imagination or maybe it's just something we remember it existing, you know? Uh, Corgi, another fu funny thing. I saw those Nissan dealerships ads on Facebook. I posted, can you put me in a Nissan Skyline GT R32, they said, yes, we can. Gaming you now. Uh, Orgy, I don't get it. Are you asking me if I can put you in Skyline R32 GTR or the other dealership? I, I'm, I don't get it. Is that to me or is that to the dealership? I'm, since this is in quotations, I'm guessing this is to the, to the dealership. Okay, another question. Dealerships are all scumbags. I would say 99.999% of them. I haven't seen good one yet. I haven't seen one that I can come back to. I haven't, haven't seen one yet. Um, no, the dealership said it. The dealership said it. Yo, uh, if you want Nissan R32, uh, if you got cash, you gotta have cash for it. Because uh, I don't think banks are going to finance. That car is kind of expensive for its year. So if you got cash, bro, hit me up. I had, a fucking G I had a fucking R32 Skyline. I imported one for myself. Hit me up. We'll make it happen. <clears throat> I'll, I'll get you. I'll, I can get you anything you want from Japan. You want a fucking NSX? I got you. You want a Supra? You got it. You want a fucking Stagia? Whatever the hell you want. As long as you got cash, I got you. 
long as you got cash, baby. Okay, um, here eat. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gary, one of my friends just bought a Ferrari SUV. I said you're on drugs. Um, I would buy one. I mean, I want to meet your friend, dude. I want to meet your fucking friend, dude. Gary, introduce me to your friend who bought a Ferrari. A Ferrari SUV. I didn't even fucking know there was a Ferrari SUV. Hold on. Images. Ferrari SUV? I don't think it's out yet. That shit is supposed to be coming out in 2022. If he bought a Ferrari SUV now, I want to meet him because he's from the future. Because that shit is not out. There is a Ferrari, like a, you know, hatchback, but, uh, you know, it's not really an SUV. But Ferrari definitely needs to start coming out with an SUV. Lambo has one. Cavity free. Can you talk about your time working for a dealership? It was interesting. You work 60 hours a week. You, and you manipulate people for 60 hours a week. That's what you do. That's why I left the dealership. Because I was manipulating people. There's a thing called integrity. And I, uh, you know... I can't say I grew up around people who had integrity, but, you know, I had some role models, you know, uh, the, you know, in, in my, you know, in my early, uh, right after I was, you know, after high school, um, I had some role models in my life that had integrity, they have honor, they had respect, and I knew at the end of the day like, what I was doing, you know, I, I wasn't conducting business with integrity. I don't like to lie to people. I don't like to deceive people. That is one thing I fucking hate, is deceiving people. That's why I left the dealership. 4G. Dan, why is 2017 Honda Accord V6 manual so damn hard to find? and negotiate for every listing. Saw both the dealer and private aid had marked up above the market value because they don't make them anymore. That's it. It's, uh, it's, it's just a rare car. I'm, I can't even say it's an amazing car. It's just rare. That's it. Paul, hi Dan. How's it going buddy? Welcome to the stream. How how, to, how do you get free stuff from a car dealership when you buy a car? You don't. You don't. Uh, you can, but it's going to cost you money. You just, okay, whatever. How, you, how, how do you get free stuff? You just fucking ask for it. I want free floor mats. Well, how about you just lower the price by $500 and go to Walmart and get floor mats for $75? You know, you're buying floor mats. I'm buying, you're not getting anything special. I would not get anything free. free from the dealership. Everything at the dealership is overpriced. Gary E. Dan, was that car salesman you, you did that stream with, uh, was he like lost or something? I have no idea. Gary, I have no idea what was it like. It was like, it was weird. It was weird. <clears throat> One and only. Welcome to the stream, buddy. How do you feel about Honda Accord? Um, I feel about Honda Accord like a, like a, I don't know. How do I feel about it? I, I want to give you a good example. Um, I, 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 I can't really come up with anything. It's like a, it's like a frozen, frozen pizza. You know what I mean? It's there. It'll feed you, but it's not amazing. Like Honda Accord. It's there, it's very reliable, but I don't, I don't find it exciting car. Is it reliable? Yes. Can you find cheap parts for it? Yes. Is it cheap to insure? Yes. Low monthly payment? Yes. That's it. But if you're looking for a fun car, Honda Accord is not it. Or a luxury car. Again, Honda Accord is not a luxury car. 
it's reliable. That's it. That's all I can say. Prickly pear, welcome to the stream, buddy. Good to see you. I asked a few months ago if Genesis would make an SUV. I hear they have one now. Do you have any thoughts about it? Uh, it's a Genesis SUV. Like I don't. They don't have any magical technology. They don't have any revolutionary technology on it. They have the same shit as everybody else. So, I mean, I'll still take Genesis over fucking uh, Mercedes because it's more reliable. I'll take Genesis over Range Rover because it's more reliable. But at the end of the day, you know, I would love to see some really innovative things from Genesis. I'm, I'm talking about things that are really, really, really different that nobody else is doing. Paul, hi Dan. Um, okay, we got that one. PT, two thing, one, uh, two things. One, Honda is giving free service up to thirty-six thousand miles. Yes, I know that, and thank you for mentioning in the stream, guys. If you're getting a, a new car, look at Hyundai. They're giving you free service for thirty-six thousand miles, and on top of that, a hundred thousand mile warranty. Just something for you to think about. Uh, two, they beat Lexus ES for less issues in top three years. Fucking surprised because Lexus, fuck it, the Lexus executives are jerking each other off in the boardroom while Hyundai is being as creative and as value adding to their brand as possible. Hyundai creating new engines. Lexus? We'll just take one from the BMW. They make good engines, right? Okay, okay. We, well, right, right. Now we don't have to do anything. Yeah, guys, when you make a new engine, it's not just engineers that are working. You have the, the people that are on the board of directors. They have to approve a new multi-million dollar project. And I'm not talking about $2 million. Not talking about five. I'm talking about in like five digits of millions, okay? We're gonna talk about 10, 15, 20, 50, 60 million, 70 million dollars for an engine. So it takes balls and uh, I don't think Lexus has seen there for months. Who am I kidding? Years. 4G. I grinded dealerships so hard for my aunt's Mazda CX-3. Good job, dude. Poor G first. I want to tell you, good fucking job. Because it's your fucking responsibility as a man to take care of women in your family. I don't care if your aunt is 100 years old and you're 18. It's your fucking job. Good job, dude. I actually don't know how old you are. <laughs> Mazda CX-3. That when they gave her the Mazda logo keychains, I asked if I could have one too. And the finance manager uh, angrily said, sure, for 500 bucks. Because <laughs> you squeezed, you squeezed every single penny out of them. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's how you take care of your family. You don't just protect your family against fucking, you know, Homeless people on the street and fucking rapists and, you know, communists trying to steal your fucking lawnmower. This is how you do it, right here. You take care of your family by, by protecting their finances. Paul, why don't the car dealerships uh, make you bring the contra contact contract home when they are scared of? Uh, why won't a car dealership make you? Why would, Paul, why would the dealership make you bring the contract home? I, I don't get it. It's puzzling to me. Do they think we're stupid? I'm not sure why the dealership would make you. I haven't ever met a dealership that made me take the contract home. Johnny J, dude. What's going on, man? Our dealership with 20 mile radius of, it, of other 100% competition with each other too or do they give each other heads up about difficult customers no they have better things to do than call each other and, and fucking tell oh there's a difficult customer no, no no i wouldn't worry about that maybe you know if like managers are really really tight you know if they if they you know uh you know jerk each other off on the weekend maybe okay cool 
maybe they have a special connection. But uh, but other than that, I wouldn't really say so. You know, because managers are extremely busy. They're working on deals. They're working on the inventory. They have, you know, unlike salesmen who who are doing absolutely nothing in a dealership, they're just screwing around, playing video games, and watching YouTube videos. Managers are actually really busy. Even at the small dealerships, really fucking busy. Um, Tango USA. Dan, what do you think about Toyota Highlander premium, premium all-wheel drive 2020? Um, I think it's an SUV and that's it. It's, I don't see it as anything special. Again, I don't think they're pushing the envelope on technology. They're not. They, they are... Copying and pasting whatever worked. They're, you know, they're, um, they're safe, they're reliable, like Honda, Kia, Honda, Mazda, whatever. It's, it's a boring SUV. It's nothing special, to be honest with you. If you want to buy it, buy it, you know, but don't, don't, you know, again, it's a good car. Don't get me wrong. It's a good car. It's not amazing. And I'm a type of guy that wants to see amazing. You know what I mean? Dan, oh, hold on a sec. What are we at? <clears throat> then it was the car. It was the car salesman that said that you have to finance through them. They don't ship the car. They will not send you a buyer's or agreement. They said every seventeen. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, Echo, Echo Park. Yeah. Listen, they could very well be selling a car seven every seventeen minutes. That's totally real. That is totally real, dude. Think about this, there is a lot, a lot of fucking people in America, 300 million. We're a big country, you know, you know, we are a big country. So we got Mexico, they got like three people, you know, and five polar bears. We have a lot of freaking people here. So yeah, I'm not surprised. Then in Canada, I checked the, the Kia Forte is only guaranteed for five years. 100,000 kilometers, my last car I had for 17,000 miles, and 790,000 kilometers. Let me do the math on it, hold on. So we're gonna go 800,000 kilos, divide by 1.6, that's 500,000 miles. Bro, you had a car that lasted 500,000 miles in Canada? Dude, the, the conditions in Canada are fucking harsh on cars. The fucking uh, rust from the snow, uh, melting chemicals, the salt. Dude, you had a good fucking car, I tell you what. Paul, uh, Makadu, dude, welcome to the stream. I remember you, buddy. Why do, why do dealers put up pics of new or used cars, used $30,000 cars with snow and dirt on them, but want full price plus fees, won't negotiate? Okay. Uh, they just don't give a shit. Some, there are some dealers that have really good salesmen that know how to manipulate people. If you come to the dealership, uh, you buy a car. 80% chance you buy a car. If they have like 80% closing ratios or shit, even 70% close ratios, I mean, they could be, they could be having hairy, stinky, butt naked salesmen and, you know, if that salesman is really good at manipulating people, they'll still sell cars. You know what I mean? It's, um, you know, it's like rich guys here in Miami. You don't got to be good looking to get fine ass bitches. Got to have that moolah. That's it. <clears throat> uh, Buffalo Pilot. I enjoy your channel. Thanks for your honesty. Thank you, Buffalo. Appreciate it. All I ask for return is 100% loyalty. <laughs> well, if not 100% loyalty, at least goddamn tell somebody about this shit. Maybe somebody will learn something. God forbid somebody might save something. You know? Maybe. Okay. Paul, I want to bring it home. Uh, bring it home. Bring it home, the contract. But they won't let me. Do you know... So, okay, okay, Paul. So you want to bring the contract home, but they won't let you? First, run. Second, get the contract. That means there is something going on with the contract. Take it to a lawyer. There's something shady going on with the contract. 
What's up, Blue Rider? Haven't seen you here for a minute. What's up, Dan? I called three New Jersey uh, Mazda car dealership and none of them knew Mazda started making their own transmission. Then I called Mazda HQ and some idiot there didn't know either. Uh, listen, when I say the salesmen in the dealership are more useless than a pack of condoms on the feminist conference, I mean it. Okay, they are more useless than a, I, 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 I don't know, <laughs> I don't really know what to, what else, how, they're more useless than a, than a bag of dicks without a handle. They don't know shit. They have no control over the price. When I ask them to send me a buyer's order, even, even if I agree to buy it for the price, they can't even build the buyer's order. That's fucking embarrassing. All they can do is, hello? Yeah, let me, let me, let me ask my manager. Like, can you imagine you call Domino's, order a pizza, and you're like, uh, 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 let me ask my manager. Jesus Christ, like they, <sighs> these salespeople in there, they're useless. They're useless. But those people are doing what other? Um, oh, Paul, that's 79,000 miles in 17 years. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'll never reach 100,000 miles in five years. I mean, you never know. Maybe you'll really enjoy driving around your block. <laughs> Old Dirty Dasher. It is a corner lot better place to buy a car than a large brand? Oh, no, 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 no. The bigger the dealership, the better. Like, that's actually true, that's, that's a fact. The bigger the dealership, the better. They're gonna be more honest because they have more to lose, you know? Uh, they're gonna be better on pricing because they sell in volume and they'll sell like 500 cars a month instead of 30, you know? So the bigger the dealership, the better. One and only. Thanks, Dan. I'm 40 years old, divorced mother of four, four year old child. Child, what car would you recommend? Something around $13,000. Hyundai, Kia, Honda, Toyota, something, something one of those. $13,000, okay? You don't, you don't need nothing fancy. You need a car from point A to point B. That's it. And if you uh, live in like northern states where you need an all-wheel drive, okay, let's bump it up to like $16,000 or whatever, seventeen. dollars You know, get, let's get you an SUV. But uh, really, to be honest with you, um, shit. You don't buy nothing fancy. Don't be buying expensive shit. You, you got... You got your kid that's gonna need more money than your fucking car. So don't be spending crazy money on a car. Put my, st start worrying about s you know, saving money and uh, you know, what you're gonna invest in into instead of just um, buying a fancy car. Erica Sanchez, how's it going, dude? How's it going, dudeette? Can we say that? Uh, big hello, Dan, I could miss today live stream. I love seeing you here. I love seeing ladies here. Because there is so few ladies that, that are going out and actually researching how to buy a car. 90% of, of, uh, of my audience is men. I mean, I understand men should be taking responsibility for financial, big financial purchases. I totally agree with that. But it's good to see some women here. Because a lot of women just, they don't have a man. They don't have a dad, no brother. You know, they might have some kind of boyfriend or whatever, but... God, I, I literally, I, I, have a, I have a friend who is a girl and she has a boyfriend. She calls him, I swear, I fucking swear, she called him a princess. I mean, God damn, it's, it's insane. I was like, why are you calling him a princess? You know, like, are you trying to disrespect him? You know, because he wasn't there, you know? No, she's like, no, I, I, I just call him that because he's like, a, he's a gentle. He's gentle like a fucking princess. I was like, fuck me. Well, I hope he has a big dick at least. <laughs> I hope that, uh, that princess is carrying a fucking big salami. <laughs> Uh, 
4G. I intend to get 200,000 from 2019 Kia Forte. Oh, dude, Corgi, yeah. You buy a car and you drive it until it blows up. That's it, and then you get a new car. Or until you, or until you start making significantly make more money. I mean, you, let's say you move up to, you know, $300,000 a year, you know, $700,000 a year. Okay, you can buy a little more expensive car. Listen, guys, I had a chance to like be around some wealthy people and know some wealthy people, you know, extremely wealthy people. Motherfucker drove a thousand dollar fucking Thunderbird. He owned properties around the lake. He owned so much fucking land. He owned a bunch of real estate, a bunch of fucking businesses. And that motherfucker was driving a thousand dollar fucking Thunderbird. So, you know, the fancy cars are for stunting on stupid bitches only. And no disrespect, okay? I'm, I'm talking about just cheap assholes that don't know any better, you know? Oh, you got a Lambo. That's it. When I go to South Beach, right? I mean, I, I, I see idiots, just stupid guys that rent a fucking Bentley for a weekend, like for one day, no, just one day. They'll pay $3,000, $2,000, you know, $1,700 for a fucking Lambo. Just so they can stunt on some bitches and get some pussy. That's it. Like you go to South Beach and you, all you, you see is Bentley, Rolls Royces, Bentley, Rolls Royces, fucking Ferrari, 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 Lambo, Lambo, Lambo. You have a $500,000 fucking car. Like uh, Rolls Royce, uh, shit, what is it, Don? You ha you'll have a $500,000 car. Motherfucker eating $25 steak. Like, who are you kidding? You're not rich. <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll have, you know, because if, you, if, if you're not from, from, from Florida, the South Beach is like, I'm talking about the, the beach area. Uh, what is it? I forgot the, the, the name of the street. But that shit is just for tourists. It's cheap, to, like cheap overpriced tourist food, right? It's not expensive, you know, fancy restaurants. It's, there is some of that stuff, but it's like at, at the other place. But you, you'll see guys renting cars, trying to impress some bitches. It's, it's pretty sad. Okay, let's, let's get back to the business. We're talking about cars and stuff here. Uh, buying a car is... It's very scary days nowadays. Ooh, uh, one and only, trust me, my friend, it was a lot scarier 20 years ago when the internet was not at the same place as it is right now. It was a lot scarier. What do you think about leasing? Uh, Brian Black, leasing is, uh, so leasing is a really, 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 really horrible idea unless you have a business and then you, you lease and then you write off the lease and then you buy the car, like you, there's a whole fucking system that you can do with the business where it like makes sense, right? Just because you either lease or the government steals money from you. All right, I'll fucking get a car, you know? Then it makes sense to lease. But if you're a regular dude and you're leasing, that's a horrible fucking idea. Paul, um, buying a car should never be scary. I told the last dealership it's called um, on lake trans transportation, I, I don't know what that is, sorry, Paul. Oh, public transportation. Public, okay, yeah. Uh, not a huge fan of public transportation, to be honest with you. Angel Blue Rider, Dan, that live stream video where you made about that uh, scam dealership was freaking cake, uh, classic, bro. You made that salesman look like a dummy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to make anybody look stupid. Really, I'm not. When I am doing an interview with somebody, like I, I am approaching it with, with like, with like, res like respect. You know, an eight out of ten level of respect. Because, thank you for doing an interview with me. You don't owe me shit. You don't have to do this, but you're doing it. You're taking your time. You're taking effort to do an interview with me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now, let me. Or some integrity on this interview. Do you mind if we put a little bit of honesty? Okay, can we do that? And then 
it starts to look silly. Once you actually shine a little bit of, uh, you know, of light on the bullshit that they are peddling, their house of cards starts falling down, you know. I'm not trying to be a dick, not trying to be disrespectful. It's just, they're lying. That's it. They're just lying. And I, like, like I said, one thing I don't like is lying. I cannot stand manipul manipulative people. No. Like, it's like you want, you want something from, you want something, but you don't have the balls to fucking say you want it. You know what I mean? Say it, but just say what you want. John J, I wish uh, you could buy a car the same way you buy a television. John J, I wish too. But thank God we have a corrupt politician that won't let that happen. Thank God we have that. We have such a great fucking politicians that care about us so much. Yeah, dude, that's, uh, that's the reason we can't do it. Because, you know, because politicians pass laws where that's literally illegal. You're the man, Dan. Thank you. Appreciate it, buddy. Right back at you. Poor Jim. Can you negotiate a boyfriend or a husband for the single ladies in the chat tonight? Can you negotiate? Oh, Corgi, hold on. You're, you're a girl? Or are you a guy? I thought, I thought you were a dude. Or maybe, I don't fucking know. All right. I guess. Can you negotiate a boyfriend or a husband for a single ladies? Uh, listen, single ladies, here's a, here's a pro tip. Find yourself a, a working man. All right, let's start at 50 hours a week. All right, if, if he's not working 50 hours a week, you just move right on, okay? 50 hours. If he is not fucking working, if he ain't focused on making money, what, what, what is he doing? What is he doing? Thanks, Gary. I appreciate the love, guys. Click that thumbs up. Show YouTube that somebody cares about this. Absolutely amazing stream. Uh... Valentine's Day tomorrow, boyfriends are 20% 20, 20 off with Valentine's Day rebate. <laughs> that is so funny. Guys, I'm a such a heartless fucking bastard. I'm a, I'm a such, such a fucking jerk. I don't, like, I remember I was in, in a relationship for a long time. I wouldn't even buy flowers on Valentine's Day just for the fucking principle. You know, I don't want to be like, like a fucking lemming just like everybody else, you know, like a fucking robot, you know. But the next day... You can buy two for the price of one. <laughs> Guys, the amount of chocolate there was in the house from March, the, the, like those chocolate hard boxes from fucking March through April was insane because it, it's so fucking cheap. <laughs> it's like buying candy right after Halloween, you know? I remember when I was a kid uh, because I grew up uh, like unfortunately not, you know, not super rich. Uh, we wouldn't buy hand candy for Halloween. We would buy it right after the Halloween. Like, wake up in the morning while there's nobody there, like, like 7 fucking 8 o'clock, and we're going for that candy. Used car te uh, techniques today. Bought a 2015 Lexus ES350. Luxury package, I'm going to drive that, the pus out of it, give it away to my daughter, car in five years. Uh, yeah, totally. You, listen, for those of you that got kids, you buy the car, you drive it, pass it on to your kid, you know, and shit, make him fucking pay for it. I would do that. I'm not even joking you. I would be like, this is the car that you're going to get, and I'll sell it to you for... $4,000. Or you can buy a car from somewhere else or whatever you want. Literally, I would be like that. At 15 years old, like I will, I'll, like I don't have kids, but like if I had like a, you know, a nephew or something like that, or, you know, or like a younger brother, I'd be like, fuck. Better start working at 15 because I was working. I was fucking make. I was working construction when I was 16 fucking years old. I was, I was, I remember going to the construction job site, uh, 
didn't even have a fucking car. My mom would give me a ride to the fucking construction job site. So at 15, you got to be fucking making money. You got no expenses. I mean, if you're smart with your money from 15 to 20, you can save up $100,000 if you're smart with your money. Okay, if you work, don't screw off and you, you, you actually put in time to work, you, you can save some money. Really, you can. I know some young dudes that save cash. They're, they're like super young and they had, they had more money than fucking adults do because they were, they started to work, you know, they were, weren't screwing off. I mean, a lot, I know a lot of 16 year olds that like, fuck, I'm getting out of high school because I have my own lawn mowing business. I remember when I was in high school, guys, I swear I'm going to come back to this question. I'm just going to just, because shit, we can fucking talk. There's like barely anybody here, you know, but I'll, I'll catch up with your questions in a minute. Uh, there was a guy that had a lawn mowing business and how much, uh, uh, he was 17 or 18 in high school and now I was with him. He was making more money than a fucking teacher. I was like, why are you here? He's like, for the pussy. I mean, I can't fucking blame him. He got the money, you know. He's still at that age when he can uh, <laughs> engage with high school girls. So after, but the next year he couldn't anymore. Uh, then did you see this? Uh, the soccer superstar, superstar Cristiano Ronaldo girlfriend gave him eight hundred fifty thousand dollars Mercedes for his birthday. Uh, that's love, dude. What, what, Paul. She didn't give him a fucking Mercedes. You know that, right? 